Welcome to Drawn in 60 Seconds, where I give you a rapid run-through of a topic in history. Today I'm going to take you through some of the consequences of the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan, which began in 1979. Perhaps the most immediate consequence of the invasion is that it restarted the Cold War, which had been, at least on paper, enjoying a period of detente, something that ended abruptly once the Soviet tanks crossed into Afghanistan. As a result, the world entered what some historians characterize as a Second Cold War, perhaps the chief architect of which was US President Ronald Reagan, newly elected to be tougher on communism than his predecessor, Jimmy Carter. The tragedy for the country of Afghanistan is that it lost over one million people to the war, mostly civilians. More than five million Afghan refugees fled the fighting, a displacement that Afghanistan is still suffering the effects of today. As the war went on, the US began supplying, both covertly and publicly, various Afghan groups such as the Mujahideen to fight against the Soviet Union, actions that would ultimately help lead to further destabilization in the country after the Soviets had left. For the USSR, the costs of the nearly 10-year war were impossible to endure, a financial liability that helped bring about the end of the Cold War as well as the Soviet Union herself.